Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're talking about the creepiest animatronics out there. Five Nights at Freddy's in real life, ranked. Let's do it. But first, we're playing Who You Talking About. We read a comment made by one of y'all and guess who it was mm -hmm. about. Ray Welsh says, Blank looked so happy when Blank handed him the hot dog. LMAO. Okay, you, I think, you would be happy if I handed you a hot yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rhett looks so happy when Link handed that him a hot dog. That has to be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why wouldn't you be yeah, happy? Yeah, that's right! In yeah. Bernardino, Look, California, in 1946. Dog. Once Bell introduced tacos to his menu, they became oh, such a smash hit, he switched focus and got rid of the hot dogs altogether. Screw those hot dogs! It was it was a, it was a subtle happiness too. It was just yeah. for you. It was yeah. It was just you know. It was a happiness just meant for one. Yeah, I was not trying to entertain anybody other than myself. Speaking of which, oh thank you. Oh, um, I, I was looking over here. I still got the basket of of, of these. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll always going to have those on hand. <laughs> Okay, whoa, 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 Stevie, you're gonna you're gonna take us through the world of creepy animatronics. Have you ever played yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's? Have I ever played it? Yeah, I know you're an enthusiast of video it, games. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do uh, after we finish uh, filming every day. I I go and play video games. Uh, I am a <laughs> gamer, uh, and we're actually starting a new channel. Uh, Stevie is a gamer. Uh, okay. In which I will play games. When was the last time you played a video game? Honestly, I got one of those um, Super Nintendo like revamps. Uh, like yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where like they're all Nintendo built Classic. in. We got the Nintendo Classic, but you had to get. You're younger than me, so you had to get the Super Nintendo Classic. I whatever. actually don't think that it was out at the time, or it wasn't available. That the the Nintendo Classic. That's the last time I played. Is I, I got it. I played it once. I have not played it since. Yeah, that's how those typically work. Hit us with an animatronic. Okay, so this is your classic Chuck E. Cheese situation to start us off. Oh my god. Um, what is interesting about this? This this band. What do you think the Chuck E. Cheese band is called? Because it's not the Chuck E. Cheese band. The well, Chucksters. It's right behind. See, it's behind that purple situation. Munch Munchies. Something believe and go. Munch's make believe band. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, um, really? Apparently, Chuck E. Cheese is not the mouse is not up there. It's just the duck, the dog, and and Barney on the keyboard. Yeah, that's odd. Apparently, in 2019, they removed the band and put in a dance floor into Chuck E. Cheese. Of course, I didn't have. I don't remember going to Chuck E. Cheese. I remember going to, do you guys remember um, in Greensboro Celebration Station? No. You I, don't remember I, I, that? Big Arcade? I thought you were gonna no. say Showbiz Pizza, which was a competitor and they had like No, a, no, Showbiz Pizza was bear. the original Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese is Showbiz Pizza. Oh, really? Yeah, because they the have next a different band. photo, yeah, exactly. This yes. is. I remember this one. Yeah. So this was the original, and then they replaced it with the other band. Because those are... This is the original band? Yeah. It was way better. Some sort of... I mean, you've got a gorilla, and then... A gorilla with a tux on. Some sort of... And there's, a, you got, there's a dog on the drums, and I don't know... The... Are you allergic to gorillas a, There's tuxes? not a gorilla. That does look like a I gorilla. think that's a Sasquatch. Oh, yeah. Eddie yeah. in the that's, back. Fats Geronimo is oh. the keyboard playing silverback gorilla. Like Fats Domino. Um, and then there's Billy Bob Broccoli, who is the banjo playing bear. I remember this one. Duke LaRue, which is the dog in the spaceman suit. And then a cheerleader. Looney Bird and Mitzi Mozzarella. She had a high voice, if I remember correctly. She's a mouse. And Beach Bear. Um, yeah. It's it gets real creepy in motion, so I I just don't think that the um oh just we're the photo is gonna not do not it. Not like these. I, I yeah, like them. You this like is it? the only one for yeah, some reason we disturbing. don't have video of, but it is it plays in my mind. Not this band. I never saw yeah, this band. The I other did. Chuck E. Cheese. Rock of Fire Explosion. Well, I will say was he, creepy. He does. He does. The gorilla looks upset to be there. Like oh no again. Yeah, he's. 
He's got. Yeah, you guys don't know Celebration Station? It no? was like off the highway, like straight up. Like it was, you could see it from the highway. Off the highway, straight up. Yeah. Yeah. us Every yeah. weekend. There I probably were, like, did pass it. I probably passed it. Yeah, it was like a knockoff Chuck E. Cheese. Um, okay. This is next. We have uh, the witch from the Snow White ride. Okay, at so Disneyland. now, all right, so we're out of dining and we're into like straight up theme park animatronics. I've yeah. never been on the snow. Is the Snow White ride at Disneyland? Disneyland. Uh, I've been. I, w I went on it last time I went, which is you know, a year and a half ago. Uh, that, that wasn't it opened at the top in 1955. I think she's in the lot. No, in the. When you're waiting? No, she's too no. good for when you're waiting. She's got to be at like the end, next yeah, to, she's right good. before the end. At a certain point, I took a nap. Um, so, did you like that ride? I, no, I don't like any of those rides. Those like, you know. That part, the whole part of Disneyland is not great. There's a, um, <laughs> there's a, me a mirrored ride in Disney World in Florida. Um, so that's where, we have a video of this one so you can oh. see the movement of everything. Yes. Okay. The real creep factor. Oh, jumps out. Maybe I there's a there. jump scare. I don't remember that. I must have been asleep. That, that seems point. better than the Peter Pan ride. I mean, like she's got an assortment of I don't know what those uh, those look to be some sort of like illegal paraphernalia. I just yeah. feel like I would have been one of those kids that fell victim to the witches, like. You, you're gonna like put some breadcrumbs. I'm definitely following that trail. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and, and you're gonna be your house gonna be smelling like food. I mean, Hansel and Gretel. If they hot, if they chop up hot dogs for you, you're gonna get that Hansel happy and face. Gretel. I would have been up in there getting eaten and put me in the oven. That's what would have happened. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that is exactly put me right. In the oven. Put me in the oven. It's a good T-shirt. You walk right in that hot oh, oven. Oh, I get to it go could, in there. It could be at temperature, and you'd get in there right. if there was a little piece of hot dog in there. Little piece of hot dog. This we're gonna rate low for me because it's intentionally creepy. And then when it's unintentionally creepy, that's when it gets really creepy, like the last one. So, I feel like you need to have more joint, mo like a head turn and like more movement yeah. is creepy. But that, she just kind of like rolled out. Yeah, I mean, when they're singing songs and they expect you to be happy, that's when it's really twisted. So it, this is not beating the Chuck E. Cheese bands, either one of them, because it's a job well done. But I mean, it is from my favorite website, widenyourworld.net. <laughs> That's why I have such broad horizons, because I go there every day. It's the first oh, this thing isn't, I do. oh, this isn't a Disney thing. It's widenyourworld.net. My world is so wide. All okay, right. uh, we're moving on to a lovely place called Dollywood. Oh, uh, I've been there. there. This is the Talking Vulture at Ooh. Dollywood's Mystery Mine Ride. Well, first of all, this looks, this is, this is, nice production value. Yeah. He's got dynamite hanging from his satchel. Well, there's a whole, there's a mining theme to, there's an ax back there, there's a, and drills, there's a mining theme to Dollywood in general. Now, mm. I, my memories of Dollywood are a little bit scattered because the first time I tried to go, while I was, my family was in the car, I crapped my pants. Um, <laughs> and we had to turn around. I thought I was gonna be able to do it, I was like, today's the day, dad's stomach's a little bit better, but we got like two miles from the place we were staying. I crapped my pants. I was like, we gotta go back home. Uh, so we just kind of hung around the house for a day. The next day- I just don't we know went, why you didn't just do the old wipe your butt with your boxers and buy some Dollywood undies. Cause I was like, you know I don't want to be- You know she sells some Dolly panties. I don't want to be in there. I don't want Dolly to see me do that to myself. I thought she was gonna be there. I was under the impression that she was gonna greet us, but- Did you see this? I don't Wait, 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 wait. That. You pooped your pants and then you and then you didn't go back out. You just were like, "That's the day." I went back day. to the cabin. We were staying in you know in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge or wherever. Uh, but uh, which I recommend once in your life, you got to go on that vacation. You got to go. But Dollywood is actually pretty awesome. Like it's you know how you know how you have to sort of like understand where you're at and what they're trying to achieve. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Con you're talking about context. Right, and you kind of have to just embrace it, but I feel like, especially, you know, the kids were young. Shepard was probably like two. Oh. Um, which would have made Locke five, so the kids were like in a really good, uh, like a sweet spot. I do remember there, there was, speaking of birds at Dollywood, 
there was a giant enclosure, this giant net. I'm like many, many stories high that had a bunch of eagles in it. You're talking about an aviary. It was a, but it was just a, it was a net. Animatronic? No, it was real eagles. And I was like, oh man, I feel kind of bad for these eagles, but man, I'm seeing a lot of eagles right now. Maybe they were maimed eagles. You know, they were rehabbing. They may have been a rescue. I bet they were all maimed. They were well fed. Let's see this thing in motion, because that's going to make a difference. Let me sing y'all a lovely song inspired by my dear mother-in-law. It's entitled, How Come My Dog Don't Bark When You Come Round? <laughs> okay. All right. Allow me to point out a couple of things. Yeah. His mouth opened and closed once, and he said about 80 words. Do you know how vultures talk, though? That's how they talk. Their lips are deep in their throat. <laughs> the, yeah, the lips are like back there, at like the at the windpipe. If you esophagus. could see in the back of the throat, it would be it would be saying all the things. Is that accurate? I mean, what if we as humans talk like that? Hey, I, 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 it's like bad ventriloquism. I kind of like that idea. So this guy's cracking jokes. He's taking the edge off. It makes him more creepy. I mean, he's supposed to be like this swarthy. Joke telling dynamite. He's not song. very creepy. He's not very creepy. But he's more creepy than he would be if he was just like, Bleh! you know, trying to be scary. I still he think, looks great. I still think the first, uh, the 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 first or the which is the second band from Chuck E. Cheese is the creepiest thing we've seen so far. Yep, I agree. What else you got? This is also at Dollywood. Oh my um, lord! The Gospel Singers in what? the Gospel Museum. Did you? See this, Mr. Poop Pants? Unfortunately, no. I was a little concerned I might, if I saw that, I would have a repoop situation. Animatronic gospel <laughs> quartet? Repoop. <laughs> uh, man, I wish I had seen that. Dollywood had so much to offer, and I didn't even know about these dudes. Now, I've seen what the if the first time you pooped it was called poop, but then every other time <laughs> afterwards it was called repoop? Well, I mean, most, most poops would be repoops. <laughs> Wow. Man, look at them. And you please, know they're modeled on a real band. That's please a cool thing. Yeah, tell it's me, supposed please to tell me there's a video of represent this. an early version of a Southern Gospel Quartet inside the museum. They are located at the entrance to the museum, and they sing a song called Give the World a Smile. Um, and let's, yeah, let's see the video. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, was there singing happening? Yeah. Like a, oh. They look I was shocked. waiting for them to like drop into like a verse. It's like well, a, oh. you know that they have that content on ID. Have a little talk with, with Jesus. Mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh. It looked like they were realizing how creepy they were. And they were like, oh no, we're living our worst nightmare. And then at the end it pans over and there's a, another robot who's like, <laughs> I like y'all, uh, I like y'all a lot. I'm gonna pay you, I'm gonna pay you lots of money for an offering plate. <laughs> this okay. is pretty creepy. I mean, when I see like four white wow. men in suits like that, I just think they're passing racist legislation. You know, I'm just like, what could these guys be up to? So this is, wow. the, this is the creepiest one for me so far. Yeah. Definitely scary. I've seen the real life version of this, and uh, eh, but this very creepy. I, the, I like the ties though. They look like the ties that we used to wear when we dressed up yep. in eighth grade. Yep. This is not. This you know is what I'm like saying? When you were, like, you were going to like an, a dance in eighth grade and early you had to wear 90s. a tie. Yeah. That's the kind of tie you would wear. I think the guy in the in the far right is repooping his pants. <laughs> He's like, oh, there it goes. Uh, repoop. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I hit the base and I repoop. <laughs> I mean, why have that when you could easily just have four guys singing? Weren't there real people singing all over Dollywood? It wasn't. Uh, now, you're thinking more about the place that we went in Kansas uh, City, which was uh, Silver Dollar City. Yes. And Silver Dollar City had, it was where we recorded the barbecue song way back in the day. With a live... Uh, bluegrass. Uh, I'm not saying there wasn't music at Dollywood. It's just it doesn't stand out in my mind. You know what is in Dollywood? This is the creepiest. Is is her a, a, a perfect replica of the cabin that she grew up in that she has a song about? 
Um, it's it's yeah. right in the middle, and I didn't appreciate it at the time, but when I listened to that podcast, uh, Dolly's Dolly, America, Dolly's America, mm-hmm. which I highly recommend. It's like a limited series, limited uh, run podcast. They talk about that, and I was like, man, I wish I'd have known that when I went there. But you, you should go to the cabin. There's no way you can top this. Um, yeah, probably not. <laughs> this is um King Kong. At Universal Studios, Florida. Okay, he's is he is he not there anymore? Mm-mm. He's Closed gone, right? Closed in two thousand two. Okay, yeah, um, I know that this was a pl- Fast and the Furious replaced this. Um, in Florida, I believe. In Florida? Oh, I'm thinking of here. No. No, Kong yeah. Kong three sixty. In Florida. At Universal. Here. And it's just it's the go, you here. go in the tunnel and it's all projected. Oh. Well, this is a real Kong. Yeah, this is this is an animatronic. Um, let's like let's see him in action, shall we? Pretty cool, man. It's dark. Like, oh, that is awesome. And that's not a screen. That's a big machine. That's a, that's pretty impressive. Now, when is he gonna sing gospel? See, I do think he was repooping the whole time. Though. He's not doing anything that he shouldn't be doing. You're not. He's not telling jokes. He should like. This is. They nailed it. He they should did a good job. like every thousand passengers or so. Somebody should get eaten by it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you did something like, a like plant, that, that would be great. Like a plant. Yeah, it's a. It's an employee. No, I mean like a hibiscus. <laughs> Just you know, yeah. He's, he's a like vegetarian. A, he's not interested in you. Technically, uh, gorillas are vegetarians. Um, That's not creepy at all. I'll tell you what's creepy. Missing out on getting that Lionel. Oh! The Red Link sing Lionel. We covered two Lionel songs. Uh, we had a lot of fun. I think the passion comes through. And even if you don't listen to it and you just want to display the, the artwork, comes through. Um, then you can do that. Join Mythical Society, third degree quarterly or annual plan by June 30th to get that record. It's the only way to get it. Uh, only available to third degree members of the society. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details. Do it! And check that stuff out. Okay, this is Ellen Ripley from The Great Movie Ride at Disney World, which was apparently in the MGM Studios portion. I have something that I feel is creepier that happened to me at the MGM area part in Disney World, which was I was standing in line. I don't recall for what ride. I was a child. I was probably like 10... You know those cloth um, uh, strollers that are just literally like... Like kind a of hammock? A, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, This kid yeah. in front of me was in one of those cloth strollers. And his mom put shopping bags or whatever the crap on the handles yes. of the thing. On the two of these handles? It, Heavy it, bags. She let go. It flipped backwards. Tossed he the kid right hit his head on the concrete. And when she picked up the stroller, there was a freaking pool of blood on the concrete. And the kid was screaming bloody murder. And she was like, you're fine. You're fine. I fainted. (laughs) You fainted? (laughs) Yeah. I straight up fainted in the line. Because I was like. Well, he spilled his brains everywhere. What the heck? Like, what? But you know the mom. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Stop crying. You're we, fine. We, we've waited two hours already in this line. We're exactly. not getting out just because your brain is hammered. That, that's what my parents would have done to me. <laughs> that's You're like fine. the one we thing I remember. Out of line. Ugh. Anyway. That, that pool of blood was already there. <laughs> yeah. That girl this, behind you fainted. Um, it was probably her blood. You got more blood in that. How long were you out? Just a second? Do you remember? Yeah, I don't think I was out for Did long. Did you still ride the ride? Probably. At MGM, I remember there being like a lot of shows like you know like this is the stunt show where you would go yeah, yeah. you know like you'd go in SeaWorld and sit in like a little outdoor stage and they'd have a show right. I think that park had a lot of those types of things when we were on tour and we stayed at Disney World in Florida because we our show was at the House of Blues we we had like a half day and so we went we went to Disney and we decided we had to pick a park, and for some reason we chose MGM. And when we got there, we were like, "We live in Los Angeles. What are we doing? What? Why is this the park we chose?" Yeah, it wasn't that 
much fun for it was us. A big miss. Uh, of course, so if this... I would have seen a some you know, like a like a gourd getting splattered like you did, I'd have been into that. So the great movie ride opened in 1989. This is going to um, be bad. And it was closed in 2017. She's got some sort of a gun. Her posture is, is troubling me. Yeah, that's all is there I video? have about this. Yeah, there's a video, so we can check that out. Oh, yes. In 1979, Undercover tourist. Exposing this woman. This is oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Shan, we gotta get those gears her fixed. Head, her head like darting back and forth. That does, that was scary, man. It's like but, nothing moved. Did you, oh. Oh, did you say something? What? what was that? Yes, I have air canisters on the bottom of this gun. It's actually just a paintball gun. <laughs> I mean, that's, you just can't top Pirates of the Caribbean when it comes to the animatronics. I but mean, they're not it just, creepy, they're just, it, just cool. wor it works, it's great. Not creepy at all. That's pretty creepy. Not as creepy as that gorilla band. Not as creepy as the gospel quartet. Do you have anything that you think could top it? Or is that, is that what I we're I absolutely do not. Okay. There we go. The gospel quartet at Dollywood, one of my favorite theme parks, does happen to be the creepiest animatronic thing on the planet. To get the Rhett and Link Sing Lionel vinyl release, join third degree quarterly or annual by June 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.